Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and I just wanted to show you a really quick tip for saving smaller file sizes inside of Photoshop. This really helped me a lot. Ironically, it was while I was making a print to pixels conversion chart here, which you can actually download at SignatureEdits.com. But my problem was when I hit Command Save, and I go to JPEG, let's save this as Test JPEG, okay? The problem is, even though it's only 1,200 pixels high by like 500 wide, we're coming up at 2.6 megabytes. Now, if I take that and I save it and I go over and I convert it on something like Optizilla, which is a great option if you're batch uh, trying to compress files and make the file sizes smaller, we go and let's grab our test JPEG. And we can see it uploads and compressing... 93% smaller. We can make it 93% smaller just by using Optizilla. Now that's kind of annoying that Photoshop doesn't at least get me most of the way there. I'm okay with them not being perfect, but why the heck is this so much smaller and we've still got great quality? Well, I'm saving the wrong way it turns out. There's a old command that we've actually got in here called File, Export, Save for Web. Now it's a legacy save option, but they've kept it in there because people use it so often. How do you use this? Well, you just click it. And we select our preset. We can go JPEG high quality, low quality, medium. I went with medium because it seems to work very well. And then you can see our image pixels. They're exactly the same as my previous settings. I'm just going to hit save. And we're going to call it test JPEG 2. Now, let's take a look at this. We've gone from 2 megabytes down to 92 kilobytes. And for web, you're never going to notice the difference. So that's how you can save images from Photoshop for web and make them about 90% smaller. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.